Alright, what is up YouTube? This is John 1209 here and today we are going to be talking about how to rewatch your League of Legends replays using a public uh, server known as replay.gg. Now, I'm just minimize that. Um, replay.gg is basically it's like a, pl a public server where you can watch your replays. There's no downloads. Uh, required. There's no installation required. Um, there's no viruses. It's completely free. Um, there's no. It's it, it's it's a really good free replay service to watch your replays. Or if you're in a team, you can help your team watch a, a specific person. Um, so what you're gonna want to do is go to whatever Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, whatever it is that you have. And I actually have it here already. So you're gonna type in www.replay.gg.com, and what you're gonna want to do is before you even click your name and search and sign up, whatever. Um, you here's all the questions of if you want to if you have any other que any any questions, just you know it's all here right here. Um, it, it report bugs and you know missing a game, whatever. Basically, what you're going to want to do is, before you even start this, I'm going to open up the League of Legends client so I can show you exactly what to do. Now, the replay service does work even when you don't do what I'm about to show you, but maybe about 25% of your games will be saved, not all of them, and you want all of them to be saved. So, let's say there's a game that you really love and you want to rewatch because you want to re-record it or whatever, but for some reason, replay.gg didn't record it. Well... Let's, I'm going to show you how to prevent that. So, open up your League of Legends client. Okay? We're going to get this done first. Now, this will waste a rune page, but it's completely safe. I've been using this for maybe about a month and a half now. I've had no problems. Lead is fucking broken right now. Hopefully they nerf some of his abilities soon. I think he's a Noxian. I think he's a Noxian. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we're here. We'll just close this out. Close this out. All right. Now we're here. Okay. What you're gonna want to do is go to click to view and edit your summoner profile. And once you do that. They're gonna go all the way to your runes, and it doesn't matter what rune page you want or what rune page you want to use. You're gonna go want to go to any random one, clear it out, all right, and rename it replay.gg with a capital R and the G's have to be capital, okay? Then you press enter and then you press uh, the save button because you have to press enter in order to save the name. So type this in here, press enter and then press uh, this button right here to save it. Once you do that, now you can go. Um, now you can go play whatever games you want to play and stuff. Um, any games you play before doing this won't be recorded. So from that point on, um, all games will be recorded from that point on for replay.gg. Now that you have that in the room page, now give about five minutes after every game, and it should be up. Um, or like two minutes after every game, and it should be up. If not, just wait it out. Once you start playing a few games and you go back to replay.gg, your games will be here. I'm going to show an example. Um, whatever server you're on, click the server that you're on. I'm on uh, North America. I'm going to type in my name, Rolestio. Okay, I'm going to press enter. And here are all of the games I've won. Here are all of my replays for every game. E even my losses. Even my losses. Now, what you'll realize is uh, this right here was the support ash I believe that I played that I put up on my channel already, but it was the directed camera. Um, these two, Sona, this thrush right here was the support thrush that I put up on my channel with the directed camera, not my own view. Um, I believe, yeah, I'm going to be putting up this one, uh, directed camera also. What I'm going to be doing, well, I'll tell you guys in a minute. Uh, Thresh, uh, not Thresh, Zerith. 
I'm gonna be putting up my Alistair play right here. Um, this is I've I have a lot of replays that I want to put up depending on how they were. I try not to put up losses because I don't want to make it look like I suck. <laughs> so that's that's just me though. If we don't have a, why I have the cover on my head is because there's lighting in the back that's kind of ruining the lighting for you guys to see my face. But uh, this is basically what it is. Okay, now when you have this open, go to your search button for whatever uh, software you have. And you're going to want to type in command prompt. Okay, click on that. You should be with this, okay? Now, you can show the details on the match, which it'll end up doing this. It'll bring you to your League of Legends uh, page for that match, like normal. And here you go. You'll be able to see the difference for that match, what happened, etc. Ooh, do I want to put this in my background? No. But, yeah. So, this it'll bring to this, you know, show you defeat, whatever. It'll show you the everything like normal, okay? Now, you could share it with your media, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, uh, Pinterest, Dig, uh, Sharon Delicious. These two I haven't heard of, these three. But, yeah, you could do that. But here's what we really want. View replay. Uh, ignore the survey. Sometimes it'll act, sometimes it won't. This is the code that you want, okay? It works for Windows and Mac. If you don't want to do, it's right-click, copy, Okay. Or control C. Control C is also copy. I'm gonna close this out. Okay. You wanna go to your you're gonna wanna go to your, your uh, command prompt. Okay, make sure this is open. Okay. Now you're gonna press control V. Okay, you're gonna press control V. Control V. Okay, hold up. Let's try and redo that. copy there we go I'm gonna press control V now what's gonna happen is it's gonna do something and I'll tell you what happens when we get back because it's gonna be very important what happens when we get back so I'm gonna show you how it reacts okay so once you do this you're gonna press enter you're gonna let it load and it's gonna do something else so just give it a second it's gonna do something it's gonna like this is all gonna go away. It's gonna show like a single line. There you go. It's gonna do this. We'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, it's gonna do this, and I'll show you what else it does. All right, we're back. So as you guys saw, as soon as you enter the code with Control V and you press Enter, it takes a few seconds, but all that goes blank, and one line shows again. And now you are on your client of League of Legends, like you want to play uh, your own game. Okay. Now, now we are watching. Uh, how it all started and stuff, and this is the replay. Okay, now of course we gotta wait for everybody to load up, and this may t this may take a few seconds depending on how long your load up screen was or whatever. I think mine was like a minute or two, so we're just gonna wait for this to load up, and I'll explain how this works. So when you enter the code onto the command prompt, the command prompt verifies you have your client open, and what you wanna do from there is you just gotta wait. So if you want to have your recording software, have your recording software ready to record your replays. Um, so that way you can record your replay. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. Um, there's of any kind unless you do something wrong. Um, what will happen is... If you get like some red lines, and here you can see we're loading up now. When you get some red lines, basically just redo it. Because um, you will get an error here and there. So now, here we are on the lead of like replay client and it, we're viewing it as a directed camera so just like how you watch your world your world championships for league of legends or your championships for league of legends or your pro players and you see it you're gonna see it like and you always see it like this this is how it's gonna look like you got your dragons you got your towers the gold the kills the time okay you got uh you got red team you got blue team all right now you can control the you can control it. I'm, I'm my name's Relestio, so right here I'm Karma. I'm playing as Karma in this match as support. So as you guys can see, I'm playing support. I can move the camera to my liking, whatever. And this is called a directed camera within five seconds. Once five seconds is done, which I show right here, four, three, two, one, it goes back to a regular directed camera. 
But I can choose anybody I want to watch, and I can commentary if I if I chose to. I could commentate if I really wanted to. I'll, I'll have my stuff. I'll have my face right up here. I can look at anybody I want. You could pause it to restart it. It's gonna say uh, some random name has paused, unpaused the game, but that's that's just how it is. It'll say a random name depending on who or whatever was in the game. It just ignore that. That has nothing to do with you. You can fast forward the game if you want in time. You know you can play it. All right. You go direct the camera. Go to my name. We, we won this match, but direct the direct the camera. And now we're going to go ahead and pause it. Go all the way back to the beginning of the game. There we go. So here you go. You could use this to your liking. Everybody goes and stuff. This is basically how it works. Okay. Now, if you're done recording your replay, okay. Um, no, I'm just gonna let it go. If you're done recording your replay, and now you want to go back, all you have to do is press escape. Exit game. And it'll ask you, are you sure you want to quick? We're gonna go ahead and click yes, and I'll see you guys back at the, um, I'll see you guys back at the, at the website. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, we are back now, and as you can see, this is what I wanted to show you. Your League of Legends client is going to look like this after your after you get out of your recording. This is perfectly normal. Nothing is wrong with your League of Legends client. Nothing is um, being destroyed in your League of Legends or anything like that. This is just how it is because this is how the client looks like while you're playing League of Legends. It's supposed to look like this. It's the difference is, ours goes back to normal after our, after our games. Here For the replay.gg, it just stays like this. So if you get invited to a game, you can go you can go to your games and get invited and stuff. Um, as you can see, we can still open up these and see what everybody's doing, look at our clubs and stuff. We can still do all of this, okay? If you get invited to a game, it's going to stay like this. If you try and press something, it's going to stay like this. So in order to get out of this easily, just click to close, okay? And then just reopen your client. It's perfectly normal. It's supposed to do that. Don't be scared. Don't have any fear of, oh my god, my my client's crashed, my game's destroyed, my profile. Oh my god, no. You're you're perfectly fine. It's supposed to look like that as it initially looks like that while we're playing League of Legends. Regardless, the only difference is we don't see it like that because it goes back to normal when we're when we finished our games. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you exactly what to do. Uh. Now. Because of the replay, um, sometimes it'll ask you, hey, another system is open, and it'll ask you, hey, to terminate it or whatever. Don't worry about that. Um, just push OK. I didn't do it this time. Sometimes it does it, though. Um, so always don't always continuously click the League of Legends button. Just wait for the thing to load up normally. It'll, if it asks you there's another one open, just press OK to terminate that one and open a new one. Basically, just restart your time. That's all. Now we're back here. Let's log in. I may be changing my IGN um, to John One Two Eight Zero Nine just so I could just so you guys know that it's me actually playing. But my IGN on League of Legends is Relestio. As you guys can see, now we are back to our regular League of Legends client. You can go browse the store. All right. There you go. You can go browse the store. Ooh. On sale skin. Is that Karma? No, that's Aurelia. Sorry, I got some little distracted. I just gotta see something. What champs are on sale? Have him. Okay, these champs I don't really fucking I don't really give a shit about. Okay, anyway, so yeah, you can go to your you know, buy your champion stuff, okay? Then you can go to your champions. You can see the champions. Everything works just as normal. Okay. My internet's being a little slow right now, so I do apologize. Okay, you got your skin, your gameplay. Everything works completely normal. I'm just going by so I can show you guys that it does. Okay, everything is completely normal now. Back to normal, that back to the way it was. And what the hell is that? Hold on, I gotta go back to see something. Glyph of ability power. Huh. That's odd. One. Maybe this is part of the bundle that they were doing. Hmm. It's probably the level one ones. 
Yeah, those are like the level. Those are the. That's tier one. Okay. But now we're going to go to the bundles. Then I'll go to the crafting. So, see? Everything's perfectly fine. Just want to show you, show you guys before, you know, so that way you guys are safe. Sandra, I'm going to be getting this champion soon. Hecarim, I got to get a level 6 token soon. But see, everything's, you know, everything's working pr completely fine. You go to click to view, edit your summoner profile. It's back to, it's back to normal. Okay. Match history. Everything's back to normal. Your match history is still here. Okay. All your match history is still here. Now, I'm going to figure this out. For some reason, um, this is the 12th four. For some reason, these two matches um, are not in my replay.gg. And it's because sometimes it just takes a little bit extra time for it to pop up. So don't worry so much about sometimes if your matches won't pop up. But 100% of the time though, they will pop up. So just don't worry about it guys. Sometimes it takes more time than usual. That's just how it is. Alright, so this is how to use the replay.gg system. Or the server. Let's see, maybe if I reload it. Usually, it, it usually it shows everything, but it's not showing my last two matches, and I'm not sure why, but it's that's fine. But this is how to use the replay.gg system. I'm going back to the homepage now, and this is it's 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 a replay service. This is how to use it. So you go to www.replay.gg, type that in, click your server, but make sure you put replay.gg into your League of Legends client right here for your room page, and make sure that room page is blank. And make sure it's a capital R and the G's are capital as well. Okay. Click your server, whatever you're on, EU, whatever, and A. Then type in your name exactly how it is in the game. Search and uh, search and sign up. Oh, whoop, I did that wrong. You know, just search and sign up. And it'll show all of your games. Most of them. Yeah, it'll show all of your games. For some reason, it's not showing my last two. And I don't know why. Maybe I'm able to delete now. But, um, yep, this is how to use you guys. And I hope this was very helpful. Um, so I'll go ahead and delete this. Make sure you have the command prompt, uh, command prompt open. And in order to get that to that, again, you go to your search button or your search bar from the start menu. Type in command prompt and it'll pop up right there. Okay. Uh, you have recording software or whatever you have to use, use it. Until then, guys, I'm going to play some uh, League of Legends, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.